Well, I'm Naranjan Dala from uh, University of Manitoba. I am a distinguished professor there at the uh, St. Boniface General Hospital Research Center uh, in Winnipeg. Uh, I have just made a presentation uh, at the International uh, uh, Academy of Cardiology uh, in Vancouver to, uh, at the 22nd uh, World Conference and the title of my talk was uh, the effect of uh, novel therapy uh, carbon as a carbon dioxide treatment uh, for the treatment of, uh, of uh, uh, peripheral disease and diabetes. As you all know that the peripheral arterial disease is very common uh, in uh, uh, diabetic patients and they most of them uh, due to lack of uh, proper treatment they end up in having amputation of the lung of, of the of the skeletal muscle of the limb and uh, this uh, then uh, has a lot of uh, implications uh, in a, so it, there are a lot of uh, therapy have been uh, tried but nothing has worked up till now nothing is satisfactory so we started working with a, a carbon dioxide treatment as a as a as a therapy for this uh, thing we found out uh, that carbon dioxide treatment uh, it increases the uh, blood flow in the ischemic uh, skeletal muscle in the ischemic skeletal muscle uh, marked increase in fact it showed uh, and this was associated with the occurrence of uh, angiogenesis the formation of new vessels and we found out that uh, uh, you know we wanted to to discover the mechanism involved with this and we established that it was a uh, excessive formation of uh, uh, NO uh, nitric oxide uh, which resulted in in the uh, in angiogenesis and produced uh, increase in blood flow to the ischemic ha heart in addition we found out that the oxidative stress <coughs> was <mark coughs> markedly reduced under that situation uh, that oxidized uh, LDL level were, uh, were depressed by carbon dioxide treatment and so was the uh, the MDA level were treat, uh, were markedly reduced. So I think the there are two mechanisms by which uh, it produce angiogenesis, uh, carbon dioxide treatment produce angiogenesis, and uh, um, produce uh, uh, increase in blood flow. So I think this is a, a therapy we believe will be will stop. Uh, this uh, uh, the surgical intervention which is the amputation of the of the ischemic limb 